lifestyle. Hi all, I'm Aid from Liquid Earth, a channel all about video and photography. CapCut is a video editing app that's totally free. There's no adverts, there's no in-app purchases, and crucially, there's no watermark on your video. It's jam-packed full of effects and it's got features from basic through to advanced. I'll be using the iPad, but it's exactly the same on an iOS, iPhone, or Android mobile. Once you open up the CapCut app, you can click on New Project, and then you'll get a selection of all of your images or videos. You can choose how you want to sort them, or I've got a little folder here that I can add from. Pressing on an image or a video will show you a little preview. And you can check the little circle at the top right hand side. Either add it or go back to add some more clips. Click the little circle in the thumbnails and it'll add them in the order that you click them. Press add when you're happy and that will load your timeline. Tap and hold and you can drag your timeline or with two fingers you can pinch in and out. If you want to add any more, choose the little add button on the right hand side. Choose a video and press add and that'll add that to your timeline. If you want to move any clips, tap and hold. All the icons then will turn small to make it nice and easy to drop that wherever you like. It's added a format according to the clips, but if you press the format button, you can change your options here if you wish. You have your normal host of features like trim and split. If you want to trim a clip, then choose the clip, select it, and then you've got these drag handles where you can change your star and your endpoints. If you want to split a clip, then choose a clip to split. And now we can scroll to the point we want to split it and press the split button. That adds a cut to your video. Let's add another one here. Edit and split. And now this is seamless at the moment. But if I select the middle video and then I can delete that, pressing the delete button. If you want to go back a step or two, you can undo by pressing the undo icon or redo it again. If you want to crop your image, press the edit and then edit again. There's a couple of options. You can mirror them, rotate your images or videos, and then press the crop. You've got these little drag handles. Tap and drag to position your video and press the tick. And now we have a little cropped video section there. You can also select a clip and then pinch with your fingers to make it larger or smaller here. It's easy to add overlays, pressing the overlay button here, add overlay. Let's choose a clip. This is great for YouTubers, by the way. That's gonna add an overlay on a different timeline. You can rearrange that by pinching and then tap and drag to a new position. And now we have an overlay added very simply. We can change the speed. Let's choose this little clip and check our speed. We have two options, normal, you can go up to 100 times or 10% slower if you wish to. You've also got this curve and that'll automatically add some speed ramps to your image and you can edit those, they're fully editable. If you want to see more on the advanced functions of CapCut, then I'll put a link at the very end for you. Reversing is just as simple. If we scroll to the right hand side and press reverse on a selected clip, and that'll reverse that clip there. Really cool. Time to add some text, I think. Tap on the text icon and we can add some auto captions. There's lots of text templates, or you can choose your own, just type something in. Tap and drag to a new position, or choose the icon in the bottom right to change the size, or move left and right to change the angle. Lots of styles to choose from, and you can change the color as well. Or go to effects and choose a preset. You can even add a bubble. Choose whatever option that you want. And then there's some animation, or in fact there's loads of animations to choose from. I'm going to choose spiral, maybe change the duration, press the tick, let's see what that looks like. There you go. Tapping on the little sticker icon brings you up lots of categories of stickers. YouTubers, you are going to love this. Let's have a look, scroll through, look at all the vlog selections that we have, loads of different options. Let's add a like button. You can reposition this. Let's put it in the bottom right hand side. Press the tick, click and hold. I'm gonna move this over and then press the play. See what it looks like. There you go, automated like button. Maybe we should add some audio. I'm sure you'll wanna do that. Lots of effects. 
fact, you can add some voiceover and extracted audio from one of your videos. Loads of effects that you can choose from. Options at the top and then click a preview. But let's add some music pressing the sounds. Categories along the top. I have to say there's not the best selection here and all of the music is quite short. There's not many long versions. If you want to favorite something, just tap on the little favorite icon here. Tap on an icon to preview it and if you're happy, press the plus and that'll add that to your timeline. If it's not long enough, just duplicate it by pressing the copy button and you can change, even move that into a different position if you wish to. Trimming them into place. Next up, we'll look at some filters. Go back to our main menu. We've got filters and effects. Pressing the effects, there's tons again to choose from. Maybe we'll add some snow to this nice sunny day. Press the tick. You can change the duration so that you cover the entire timeline. So that acts like an adjustment layer now and you've got snow over the whole thing. We can drag the end and the beginning and just place it over a specific clip if you wish to. And then you have filters. Again, lots of filters that you can choose from. Tapping on them gives you a little preview. Pressing the plus button, same again, you can put it over the entire timeline if you wish. Adjustment brings up your color grading. Normal culprits here, so brightness, changing the exposure up or down, saturation, more color or less color. But we've got some cool effects here. We can fade our image for that old fashioned look. Maybe add some grain. Let's see how that looks. There you go, really cool. In between all of the clips, you've got these little square icons that are your transitions. You can choose a transition from the categories along the top. And if you want that applied to all of your clips, tap apply to all and the tick button. And now you have that transition on all of your clips, all in one go. If you want to change an individual clip, choose a different option and press the tick. And now that one clip is different from the rest. At the very beginning, you've got a cover option. This is your thumbnail image that you can change here. Just scroll to the relevant part of your timeline. Add text if you wish to. Same conditions apply. I can click on the text, drag it to a new position, make it a bit bigger maybe. Press the edit icon and now I can add some different effects to it. And let's try this one. Pressing save, that's saved that cover image for you. At the very end, you've got this little overlay end title with CapCut. Unless you've changed that the settings in the beginning, you can delete it here by selecting and pressing delete, and then you can just add your own. Finally, you wanna export your video, choose your export settings and you can change the resolution, HD or 4K maybe, and then your frame rate, so frames per second. If you're unfamiliar with these, then 30 and 1080 is a good place to start. When that's all done, press your share icon and that's gonna save that down to your camera roll. Well, I hope that was useful for you. There's a link at the bottom left-hand side to some advanced functions of CapCut and a link on the right-hand side at the bottom to all of the other videos I've got in the iPhone playlist. Thanks again, really appreciate you joining me. Take care.